Hi, this is Amy M. Burns from amymburns.com and author of the publication Using Technology with Elementary Music Approaches, published by Oxford University Press and available from Oxford and Amazon today. Check out this YouTube channel for many play-along videos and webinars, and don't forget to like and click subscribe. Today's episode is five YouTube tips for music educators in five minutes. These tips might be new or a refresher to you, but they are good tips for those using YouTube in the classroom. Plus, if you cannot use YouTube in the classroom, there is some additional information in these tips to give you suggestions for when you cannot use YouTube in the music classroom. Let's get started. Tip number five, saving a video to a playlist when the button is grayed out. This is a challenging aspect of YouTube as many music educators who create original material to be used in the classroom feel better when they click the button that it is made for kids. YouTube requires the material being published to be labeled as made for kids or not made for kids. When it is designated as such, the user cannot save it to the playlist or click on notifications. However, there are ways to get around this challenge. Here is one way. When you find a video you like and the button is grayed out, click on the like button. Then go to the left side of the screen and scroll down to liked videos. You will find the most recent videos that you have liked. Click on the ellipsis, the three buttons to the right, and scroll down to save to playlist. You can now save it to a playlist. Tip number four, pocket tube extension. The web browser version of YouTube does not seem to allow you to show your subscriptions in alphabetical order or let you organize the subscriptions in groups. The iOS version does allow you to list your subscription by most relevant, new activity, and A to Z. To do this on your web browser, you can use the PocketTube extension, install it, and then after you install it, reload all YouTube tabs for the extensions to take effect. You can now organize your subscriptions in alphabetical order and you can place them into groups. Just select the channels, create a group, and click save. Tip number three, transpose extension. I discovered this extension in 2020 at the TMEA conference and immediately told my good friend Katie Wardrobe of Midnight Music about it. Since then, she throws this in her annual free items publication and when she podcasts about tech tips. Transpose Chrome extension allows you to change the tempo, key, and pitch to YouTube videos in real time and allows you to loop certain areas of the video to be used for practicing certain sections of a song. Even though YouTube does have some built-in tools that can change the speed, this extension goes further by giving you more options. Transpose allows you to change the key up or down 12 half steps or semitones. Pitch allows you to change the pitches by microtones. Speed changes the speed by a percentage or by tapping the tempo. And loop, you can set the loop between two different timestamps and click on the loop button so that your students can practice that one section over and over again. This works for YouTube, Vimeo, and Spotify as well. Tip number two, the trick of adding dash between the T and the U in the URL. This is a trick that sometimes works, but not all of the time. To make the YouTube video become full screen with no ads, no comments, and no videos that will play right after, take the YouTube video's URL that you would like to show, add a dash between the T and the U, and refresh the screen. There are a lot of other ways to do this. Another way is to load the YouTube video you would like to show, click on the share button, and click on embed. A large iframe code appears and you have to copy it all. Click on the copy button, go to the new tab, and paste that embed code into the URL. Remove all words or characters before the first quotations and remove all words or characters after the second quotations so that you are left with a URL. Click refresh and the video now appears full screen with no comments or ads. Tip number one, using other sites to play the YouTube videos. Many schools will not allow YouTube to be played inside of the school. One way to get around this is to download the YouTube video from home and upload it to your Google site or play it off your hard drive or thumb drive. But if you can use other sites in your school that allow YouTube videos to be embedded, then the process is quicker. One site is Google Slides. You can always input a YouTube video link into a slide and will play without comments or ads. Another great site is Wakelet. Wakelet is a free digital curation platform that lets teachers and students organize a mix of content for easy access. When you add a YouTube video into Wakelet, it will play the video within the app with no comments, ads, or anything else. This is a free and wonderful alternative because you can make Wakelets for your students that contain various resources from videos to audio to links to PDF files and so much more for them to use in the classroom or for homework or for as free choice in their own classrooms. And that concludes five YouTube tips for music educators in five minutes. Click and like and buy me a cup of coffee if you love my resources. Have a great year.